previously on Don Garampa V3 Killing Harmony. There you are. Hey, where are you going? Huh? Going to? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. No! Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Gonta charge it as like a runaway train and then heck i lost consciousness i didn't even feel the impact I didn't have time to scream my world turned dark in this pitch dark pitch black world i thought to myself this is what it's like to die i can't die yet what the heck is happening morning sleepyhead you're you're Huh? What? Me? <laughs> Are you gonna ask, who am I? And where am I? Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is... Hmm, I guess hell. Hell? I shook my head confused. I looked around. Hmm. Is this... You're weak? This is the ultimate entomologist research lab. Huh? The ultimate entomologist lab? Why? I remember I was attacked by Gonta and then... The same is true for the rest of us. We are all seized by Gonta and brought here. Um, by the way. Gonta apologized for that. Apparently, you can slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Why? What is this? Why did Gonta do this? Why? It's because of that guy. He was broke by that guy. My eyes follow where Tsumugi was pointing. There's no use trying to escape. Gonta will just catch you again. What is happening? No. Is this you're doing? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? <laughs> He's so simple minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of him, he started crying and said he would get guys, you guys love bugs. Something like that. So that means... That's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. Oh, Gonta thought of the name. So if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. That's terrible. You tricked Gonta. Right. Isn't it great? Only is an evil supreme leader like me could do something so evil. Kukichi. Why are you doing this? I thought we can throw ourselves a little screening party with all of our videos. See? With all you hear, exchanging our motive videos wouldn't be that difficult at all. <laughs> and I want to see your videos too, so I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please, wait. Do you know what will happen if we do that? Everyone will know their motive and a killing will be more likely to happen? But... I don't like playing on- I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. That will be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? See? Try to warn you guys, I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm going to do this, then i got to enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win, understand? Strange, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile, like a frolicking child. Although perhaps it's just another lie. Hey. Thank you for waiting. Gonta, bring Himiko and Angie. What? Himiko and Angie too? Aww. I was about to take a break too. I just finished all the prep work. What's the meaning of this? Are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. Okay. Does your face hurt? You want me to spit on your face and make it feel better? Stop it. No. Hey. Gonta, are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Oh, Kirumi at gym. But she told Gonta she's too busy. And you just let her go? Atua says Kirumi fulfills any requests I want to make of her. Like a mommy. Hey. She's not a mom though. Wait, what uh. request? I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry. Not even going to strong enough to overcome Kirumi. Mm. 
Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called ultimate. Nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um. Gonta see Miyu, but Gonta's face get red hot. So Gonta no could bring her. <laughs> Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? Yeah. No, um, she used her... What she call it? Secret woman weapon? And then... Anyway, there's enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to a smashing start! Maybe. Yeah, sure. This is good enough. We should move on to our main event anyways. Yeah. Don't be deceived! He just used you to abduct us all. <gasps> really? Uh -uh. No, this is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gonta. Oh, more than Gonta? Amazing! You like bugs that much? Dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey. Gonta, go ahead and teach him just how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run an errand, but I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? Right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Mm. Could it be? Yeah. Someone gotta break into your rooms and get the goods. <laughs> Lockpicking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. What? You're gonna enter a girl's room without permission? I must. Seems I must be the one to take care of this. With my talent, Kokichi, You're I will so stop. Dumb. Yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to some robot. Um, Let's see, it's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back by night time. Well, have fun the bugs, so then. Here we are caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? At this rate, it'll end up as a mode of video screening party. My Neo Aik Aikido is no match for going to superhuman strength either. We still have a chance when Kokichi comes back. That's when I'll take care of this. Everyone, please just endure it until then. Everyone play nice. Oh god, now we start the fun fun insect meet and greet. No. When I first woke up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. Oh god. The incredible specimens each gave off their appearance of vigor and vitality. And they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked, we all all we can do is run around the room in a panic. Oh jeez. I would be freaking terrified. A nighttime announcement played, but didn't save us. <laughs> Ew! The insane meet and greet continue without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. Ah, oh no! Pimiko is being buried alive by insects! Oh, that's her over there. Pimiko, hold on! The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. Ooh. He finally came back. Whoa. There are bugs everywhere. How nasty. I mean, how nice. Oh. You came back, Okichi? Come, we have fun. Nice. We're gonna have so much fun. Mm. Yeah, as much as I love to do that. Maybe we should call it a day. The bugs look really tired, and a gentleman know how to think things in moderation, you know. Right. <gasps> Going to understand. So, you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kokichi's hands are full of several cups pads. Are you okay, Himiko? Are you alive? What's going on? The last thing I remember is Gonta releasing the bugs. Does she pass out from fear? <laughs> I can understand that. <laughs> So he really did go get them. Yeah. You were having fun? My island's full of creepy crawlers. This many bugs doesn't bug me. Okay, I thought you were going to do your ultimate attack. This is my last chance. Please leave the rest to me. What the heck, you're not doing anything. <laughs> we escaped from the mob hell itself somehow. I would be terrified. I would probably faint in, in, in fear. Uh, no. I'm still okay. I said this will Neil Aikido. It'll take more than this to break my composure. There's a big old bug on your back. 
<laughs> Wait. Calm down. I frantically swatted the bug off of her. No. It's okay. There are bugs everywhere. It's no wonder Generic you. Mail. I don't need some help from some male. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't trained enough. As soon as I escape from this place, I will return to Master and resume my training. Fun time meeting greeting. No! Suppose I did. Good, now everyone likes bugs. More bugs hatching real soon. Let's have fun time meeting and greeting new bugs. You guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. As you're late. You said you'll be back by night time, but it's already 11 p.m. now. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. But... Look. <laughs> Cubs pads. Gotta catch them all. I even got the pads that belong to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motor video. You say we don't want to. How exciting. Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy. Let's start already. Hey. Start what? Oh, don't worry about it. Just keep watch so these guys don't. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. I don't want to use this unless I'm absolutely had to. Hey, eats up a lot of my electricity. Well, that's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Kiba, what are you going to? Oh, still glaring at Kokiji. He will slowly reach the hand behind his ear. He's gonna self destruct. He's lighting up. Is he gonna self destruct or? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. Okay. Right there. Kibo shouted out and pushed his palm against his ear. That's when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Is that my voice? <laughs> He's so simple minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them. He started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs, or something like that. Could this be? Nice. How about this? You just saw my audio recording function for the first time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret weapon? It's like a sati in this day and age. But it's metal tape, you know. The sound quality isn't the issue. Let's just put that aside. More importantly, it seems to have worked. What do you mean? You not like bugs? That's boring. You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that lie? I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. So it's not a lie. Then go to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Hey, bugs. We want to pet more bugs. Everyone. We must run while we still can. Wait, we need to take back our cubs pads. Hank will snatch them. No. Aww. And we all ran out of the lab. Run! After leaving the room, I can still hear the muffled buzzing and Kokichi screaming. We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. To Don't joke about that. What if it happens? Just plain impossible. So, do we return these cubs back to their rightful owners? Please. The model cubs were here. I'm sure they'd help us. Hmm. Oh, it's just you? The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. What's about the cubs' pads? Kokichi brought them to us and. I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. Oh my god, he's gonna deliver... He's gonna deliver the ones... Like, correctly. He left. Well, that was abrupt. Abrupt. But out of all of them, we can probably trust that, right? Shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past night. That's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. 
because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal. But I'm sure it'll be a divine show. We'll be waiting for you to come watch. We will be waiting, she says. It's Himiko's show, not yours. Suppose you're right. Just remembered, I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. Ah, uh, too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. Not like I'll never see him again or anything. Worn off from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. What is that obvious foreshadowing I just heard? Very suspicious. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. I quickly collapsed onto the bed, quickly fell asleep. I need a miracle! You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling? But miracles happen every day. For example, do you know what the odds of the earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why us being alive on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whatever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Where's... It is now oh. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. So wake up. Ah. <laughs> Monosuke is so impatient. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. I want to get along with Monosuke. Right. It's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. It'll be 10 p.m. later. <laughs> You're too early. Your patience is trying to warp time and space. Hmm. Today is the day of Himiko's magic show. But the insect fiasco yesterday and now this? Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? I guess I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Anyone here? Oh. Kaito? Hi, Tsumuki. Good morning. Good morning. You look a bit sick. It's just the sounds of those bugs buzzing so in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it, so I didn't get that much sleep. That must have been rough. Gondo would be sad to hear it, but I like bugs even less now. I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside of Gondo's lab. Or wait, are there? Well, Gondo did say that he thought he saw a really tiny bug once. Oh yeah, he did say that. Even with Gonta's 20.625 vision, you can only barely see it, right? So, isn't it possible he was just plain mistaken? Actually, I really hope he was mistaken. I'm so over bugs. I was going to forget last night and enjoy the magic show. Show's in the gym, right? I'm gonna go on ahead. Hi, Kibo. Kibo. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Suiji. How are you feeling today? Are you so sore from the events of last night? Okay. I'm fine. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. I recharge the electricity that I use in my recording function. 
even so. I'm very happy that I was able to use my functions to help everyone. Keyboard recording function. It's not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did help a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Kibo. You really earned the title of Ultimate Robot. It was nothing, really. If you ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> yeah, I will. So the magic show is starting soon, yes? Everyone is probably gathered in the gym already. You should get going along as well. Okay, okay. Anyone else here? Nope, let's go. Hi, Kirumi. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. Miu seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. She's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. It was seen that some outrageous events transpired last night. Yeah, Kokichi tricked Gonchon going along with his Moda video screening plan. Thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. So Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. No matter, let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Where's Kaito? Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. Kaito and Kokichi are not here. Yeah. Welcome to a magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage setup. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. This would be impossible with just two people. I get others to help us. Kaito and Kibo help carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage where Kirumi sold the curtains. Thanks. And everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. <laughs> Shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. Do you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Hey, Suichi is stronger than Kaito. Kaito did 20, I did 50. Huh? Push ups. Not preparing. You're not ready yet. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparation. Aww. <laughs> She's just shaking like a leaf. So cute. That's it? Bam. Bam. What the heck is that thing up there? Who knows? Those fish in a tank above, are those truly... Is it right to use something so dangerous? We managed to complete the preparation in time. I hope everyone enjoys the show. Okay. You helped up too, Kurumi. Did you do the sewing? You complete every task you're given, don't you? No wonder you're the ultimate maid. Right now, you're just an audience member like everyone else. So let's enjoy the show. Yes. I shall do just that. Oopsies. That is okay, something's gonna happen here. I can feel it. By the way, can I ask you something, Angie? Feel free. Mm, what? <laughs> when you guys were alone with Angie, what were you guys doing? Oh, just normal things. So sweet, sweets, our nails, and how to get a twist bath water at a discounted rate. Hey. That last one's not normal at all. And she can quite the handful. I wonder if Himiko can handle her. This is, this is quite a professional looking set. However, considering how unsettled Himiko is, we might not get to witness for ourselves the skill of the ultimate magician. How unfortunate. <laughs> she is shaking like leaf. Miyu. What is this device? I've never seen something like this before. I'm getting excited. Really, really excited. 
Oh gosh. This is way bigger than I thought. I imagine the plane every day stage. I guess all the thoughts in my plane out head are just plain plain. Gonta, so sorry about yesterday. Gonta, not know why you act that way. Gonta, too forceful. So I'll have a long way before Gonta calls himself true gentleman. It's, it's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault for tricking you. Even so, I think you need to seriously reflect on what you did. Your gullible mind will eventually lead you down the wrong path in life. Gonta, be more careful next time. So, what happened to Kokichi? After instant meet and greet, Kokichi's mouth starts to bubble, then he passes out. <laughs> I see. He might not make it to the show then. Oh my. Tenko, you're trembling. I told you many times that I too loves all his creations. What do you mean all his creations? That's way too much love. What about Monokuma, huh? Does Atua love him too? Of course. So he must love Monokuma so that our love will reach him. Shut up already. Robots can't feel love. They can't feel any emotions at all. And yet, I felt a strange pain in my chest after you just said that. You know, lately I've been hearing- ha I've been having weird pains in my joints and my lower body. <laughs> this girl. Is that a symptom of gout? This girl. Okay, Himiko, are you ready? Don't be scared. Are you a bit nervous? Just a little bit? Certainly doesn't look like a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the extreme water magic. Underwater escape act. I, I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. You never cast it before? And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If I don't escape the tank within time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. I'll be pureed. Pureed? Oh, that's intense. This is looking a little dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. It's all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Auntie said we should use them for the show. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Tenko, please reconsider. The piranhas, they're nothing like lasagna. What's happened to do lasagna? With my magic. No, no need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Himiko, are you serious? There's no way I can stop now since Atu is watching the show and all. There's no such thing as a Tua, and she's brainwashed you. You don't believe in my magic? Well, I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Okay. Of course I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Tanko. Okay, this is looking really dangerous. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> then let's get the show started. Um, starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Roma, Kaito. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. Uh oh. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Ha 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 ha! I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! <laughs> the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, underwater escape bag. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you! When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, 
We'll draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened, if by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause. Just kidding! It's a joke! Are you feeling all right? I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Going to worry. Going to have bad feeling. Atua, please protect me. No! Wait, why are we doing prank to Atua? That's Angie's stick. Oh. I guess you could pray to some other god. Oh man. Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. In her typical high pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Oh no. Okay, I'm closing the curtain. Andy closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fist nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out. Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore. Gonta cried out, leaped out from the seat, and Gonta ran up to the stage. Oh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko. Huh? Um, less than 10 seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. This dress is bad for my heart. Himiko! Right when our timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank. Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Look, the piranhas. H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! Got it. I'm opening it now. When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. <laughs> what the heck? No! It took a few minutes for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather in the gym. A body? In the gym? Then when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank Oh my god If blood is pink in this game That tank must be super bloody right now Chapter 2, Deadly Life
for the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. What? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what happened. We should break the tank, right? Gotta check what's inside. What, break it? Yeah. Break it. It would take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? What, what will we even use to break? Hey. Keyboy, Gonta, you're up. Huh? What do you mean we're up? Gonza, throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. Who are you calling a battering ram? Gonza, throw Kibo. Got it. Then I'll help too. Wait. No, wait just a second. You don't need to team up now. Oh my god, they really did it. <laughs> Sound is intense. A wall of piranhas and water dyed red with blood gushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kirumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Um. I've gathered Roma's body and belongings in one place. He will suppress. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. He's been reduced such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeing and fragile life is. Going to put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Going to think they full. Today Ruma's fish food. Tomorrow he'll be fish shit. D don't say such things. Are you okay? This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? How could this happen? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start again. Why? So that all just a lie. You guys are liars. Are you liars? Apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. You disingenuous tears mark you as a liar right now. Oh, you figured it out? You got a good... You've got a pretty good eye there, Kyo. Oh my god. How does it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Huh? You're almost transparent? Is my x-ray vision super power fully awakened? Goddamn. <sighs> you don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. You're rare to go, Mono. Who are you again? Mono Skeg, you should at least remember your own kid's name. Monophony, are you okay? Five, four. Are you counting, Monophony? Why are you counting? Because three. Um, seriously, two, gonna puke one, now! <laughs> she puked again. The hell are you doing, you failure? Listen up, we're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly. Capiche? Also, the key meat company and new mascots present lots of exciting business opportunities. Shut up, you failure. What? Me too? This conversation is fun as so all, but we really, really should get this over with. Don't we need to start investigating or something? Right. I'll get the corporate this time for sure. Hurry up and give us a thingy. Okay. You mean the Monokuma file, right? I also investigate the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Let's use his Monokuma file to start a funeral service business. You know, how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death. If we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well, Pops, what do you think? So cute. Huh? cute. The way you pass out the files is just so cute. Why don't you come over with me? Come with me over here. Pop is gonna lick me all over. Run, kids. Run, Monocubs. 
Huh? Father's showering Monosuke with all his love. Hmm. We think maybe Monosuke is right. Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile or threatening enough. She's still puking. I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. In any event, let us begin the investigation. Investigation? That's really gonna start again. Can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. No more. Kunta no wanna investigate friends. No wanna suspect friends. Don't do it. I'm not gonna investigate either. You'll be fine if you're short a person. I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate. That seems rather irresponsible. She likely assumed someone else would take care of it. I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rentaro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. I'm seriously pissed off we gotta do this. But it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because... Goto and I have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. You're right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? Right? We almost murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. But She's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. <laughs> what? Right? But then again, she made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Hey, <laughs> Shut up already! How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart? You, you just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. Ah, shut up, shut up! Himiko will never do something like that. I know her best. Right, Himiko? <laughs> this is the part where you agree with me. Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? Because if we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit was killed. Huh? Not possible? Why not? It's magic. There's no trick. It's magic. How long is that donkey lip midget gonna keep saying that? Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. There's no trick to my magic. Because it's magic. How long are you going to keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't capture culprit, we're... That's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. To solve this mystery, we must first learn a trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We have no choice in the matter. He's right, we have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. The investigation is to save all of our lives. Because we're risking our lives in the class trial. Investigation start! You got a sec. Huh? What's wrong? I mean... Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Your sidekick? No. I'm over signed this kind of guy, so I'm not really cut off for investigations. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momoda, Lumine of the Stars, is the universe itself. So I'll leave the details to you. Pay with the path to my success. I don't know what to do as a sidekick. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? So, I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Alright, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Kaito making me a sidekick like this? Could it be? I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. K. 
can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, he's doing it on purpose. Is he trying to help me? What's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. I carried those behests. I looked over the Monokuma file. Hey, Rockley Green. The victim is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in a gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Come on, man. What? That's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. The time of death isn't written here. Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rantaro's time of death, right? Discover in a library. That's my time of death, 9, 10 p.m. Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate time of death. Did Monokuma mess up? This was intentional. Monokuma told us he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. Think about it that way. It implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. There you go. I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. Is drowning, but if that's the case, I might be able to unravel the case from there. Monokuma file has been added to the truth bullet section. Alright, now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command in my new sidekick is investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. It's pretty commanding, as I expected. Oh my god, that was so long. Um, so yeah, Ryoma died. That was, oof, pretty bad. At least he died, okay, if he had to die between d drowning and getting eaten alive by piranhas, I feel like drowning is the better one. But then again, drowning is not fun either because that feeling that you get is probably really bad. But... At least he wasn't eaten alive, which would have been a lot worse. Yeah, this was, it was kind of slow in the beginning. Um, I feel like the buildup wasn't as great as the first one. But nevertheless, I mean, you got through it. Yeah, that's really all I can say. <laughs> okay. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you everyone for dropping by and hanging out with me. And yeah, bye. See you next time.